want to hear it. So I want y'all to make some noise right now for Aya Perez. <laughs> was what brings you peace. Um, let me see. I was gonna say cereals and like cereal and milk again, but like it gets too soggy for me. I just, I can't fuck with it. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna do poems for you guys. I'm gonna like spit my feelings and you guys can like yeah. pretend that I'm not. Like, oh, so okay, then. <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah, I'm gay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Who here has seen Moonlight? Woo! I love you guys. Oh my god. Okay. Great. Okay. Um. So um. After I watch Moonlight, dysphoria does not gnash its teeth into me for nearly three years. I recall language I learned in middle school, something earth-toned in black and blue. There's a word for the way that shadow and light are casted upon still life, but I do not recall what it is, and in this way, my eyes, the cameras here, play tricks and tell lies in this story. In the story, my chest is a syringe which had pushed itself upon me. I can feel my spine break. I can feel my teeth crumbling, so perhaps it was the soft light, and there must be a scene then in which the camera zooms in on my skeleton. A moment when I run around a city and the buildings change and as I run, I am different. My legs grow shorter and longer. My hair changes. My chest compacts itself the way I wish it would. Embraces me the way I should embrace myself. And so then there must be a scene for the way that angles cascade down me like shattering bones, but I do not recall what it is. And so perhaps it was the soft light that cast a dagger from the back of my tongue to the skin of my teeth. Perhaps it was the light that made dysphoria deem me a true god, a dirty, guilty lover would not let me go. Perhaps it was the ground that shattered my cunt and made me a man, or the fire in my belly I am pierced here in this body where God hisses and I do not believe her. All my expression invisible, I am the black piano. Key. My body casts shadows like it has rights head hidden and I'm being hung out to dry and burned out the stake and who gave my chest permission to inflate like that if not me? If not my skin, which I don't mind but needn't gossip. And if indeed the walls change in the moonlight then there must be a scene in which my uterus tries to rearrange itself and that's what really hurts. I wake up while the sun still has not risen and cover every reflection, or every plane with my reflection in it. I cover the windows, I cover the water, I cover myself with yearning and intent. I decontort the work my mother did. My body, a temple of plaster saints. Imagine the walls sink in, the closet crumbles. I cannot sleep and so in the moonlight, while I try to, the walls shift to accommodate my prayers. The angles shift and I know in my heart I am the black piano key. Blank space that think it got a say in what the body do. Uh, okay, so that was that one. Oh Y'all are like hyping me up mad heavy right now with this applause. I got my belly exposed. Like I'm living my best life right now. Okay. <laughs> Poem about accidentally racist puppy. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. All right. Um, hold my hand, well, oh, baby, it's a long way down to the bottom of the river. Hold my hand, who oh, baby, it's a long way down, a long way down. Who was that? Wait. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> we bonded just then, like a tiny little bit. I love you. Uh. <laughs> A white boy with tattoos of Aphrodite sings me a song while he hangs me. Ooh, wait. 
A white boy with tattoos of Aphrodite sings me a song while he hangs me. Pins me to the wall, his altar now, and suddenly I am a pitted fruit. Breath uneven, stomach spotted. I transfigure when he tells me to. I have no fear because that too was taken. Last year I let the ghost of a Union soldier lullaby me a Negro spiritual. I let a soldier tear my shirt from my body, and he wasn't a soldier then, but, but he is a soldier now, and that's all I've been thinking about. I think about him infrequently. Actually, he's an ocean station three oceans away that I let drown me on a weekly basis, and I would rather drown than face my own trouble, so I let a flower bed baptize me in poison. He lick his lips. He like me wet. He drink me like I'm cotton gin. Anyway, he tells me his family never owned slaves, and I know in my heart of hearts he on some bullshit. <laughs> He tells me he lost me in the dark of the shadow of his dick. He tells me to hold my breath and count to ten and carry all my black in a sleeping bag and so here I am, another black hole for man to discover. Cunt and coon and cutie in the same breath, but now my naked unsafe. Eyes dead in his hands and eyes lost in his eyes and eyes drowned in the blues of his irises sunk to the floor of him, sink to the place I laid my body to rest back scratched hard enough to draw and he grabbed my hair but not for the kink of it or maybe for the kink of it all right that was that one i have one more for you guys if that's okay leave here with like an inflated ego. I'm trying to warn you guys right now. Okay. Okay. Um, it's fall, so I'm feeling mad spooky and shit. Okay. Um, so this is a, you already know. Okay. Um, so this is a poem to the tune of Reclamation. Um, tonight I ask Yama Ya for full body healing. I douse myself within myself and curl my spine backwards, called it self-love, how I congeal myself. Anoint my candles with myself the way people have anointed their love onto me, all I am, the rock and steady of my skin. It was here in the hollow, vined monster house I have not known that I drowned my mother in all the burden he could not make of me. I dunked his head into my screams and laughed my tongue backwards, what a petty thing. I don't need to tell you that this is a form of worship to baptism he who think he God for the sake of they who worship God in the name of she who really God he struggle and I get deity under my fingernails and my laughter water over rocks and joy feels foreign in my body and this is his fault. Not believing in love even as I experience it is his fault. I do not know if I'm talking about my mother or my father. Both men have scratched me, left keloids where children were supposed to sit and sleep, transfigured their altars into unsafe funeral marches, made me call them church, then drove me from peaceful religions. I have my body made the temple of plaster saints, a home for men with unflawed skin but broken teeth and tainted minds. I accept the earth, my altar now. I do not pray five times on Sunday. I let my body liquid confession. I raise my palms and they too are foreign. Tonight, I ask Yama Ya for full body healing. I set aside a candle for the bones I've broken. I will my skeleton soothe itself. I don't need to tell you that this is a form of worship. All my ailments, cast to soil, turn to die. Buried with me. Make some noise for Aya!